Casey Neistat is Tyler Durden. Casey Neistat is a real-life YouTuber, and Tyler Durden is a fictional character from the book and film Fight Club. Two completely different characters, but similar. Tyler Durden is the narrator's alter ego, everything he wants and wishes he could be. And Casey Neistat is that for all of us aspiring filmmakers. Big and small, Casey has inspired thousands if not millions to pick up a camera and tell their own stories. Us filmmakers are the narrator, and Casey is Tyler Durden. You wake up at SeaTac, SFO, LAX. You wake up at O'Hare, Dallas-Fort Worth, BWI, Pacific, Mountain, Central. You lose an hour, gain an hour. This is your life, and you're living it one minute at a time. Excuse me? You wake up at Air Harbor International. You wake up at a different time, in a different place. Could you wake up as a different person? Everywhere I travel, tiny life. Single serving sugar, single serving cream, single pad of butter, the microwave breakfast burrito hobby kit, shampoo conditioner combos, sample package mouthwash, tiny bars of soap, the people I meet on these trips, their single serving friends. Between landing and taking off, we have our time together, but that's all we get. With your feet in the air and your head on the ground, try this trick. Yeah. Casey Neistat exhibits a rebellious nature through his approach to filmmaking and challenging traditional media norms. He gained recognition by creating content on his own terms through his YouTube channel. Casey's videos often featured unconventional storytelling techniques and a raw, unfiltered style that defied conventional production values. He embraced a do-it-yourself ethos often disregarding rules and permissions in favor of taking risks and pushing boundaries, breaking away from traditional constraints and embracing his own unique voice. In the context of Fight Club, Tyler Durden represents a more extreme form of rebellion, going against consumer culture and societal expectations. Tyler forms an underground fight club where men release their frustrations and embrace physical and psychological liberation. Through this club, Tyler challenges the materialistic existence of modern life, encouraging individuals to reject the consumer-driven society and embrace a more primal and authentic version of themselves. Welcome to Fight Club. Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Yeah. All been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. We're the middle children of history, man. We're very very pissed off. Tyler built himself an army. I want to know what you're thinking. Oh, you need to forget about what you know. That's your problem. Forget about what you think you know about life, about friendship, and especially about you and me. Tyler, we trusted. Both Casey and Tyler question and challenge the established norms of society. Casey's mantra of better to beg forgiveness than ask permission reflects a willingness to push boundaries and go against the grain, which aligns with Tyler Durden's anti-establishment attitude. Uh, Self-improvement is masturbation. Self-destruction. Casey's videos often showcase unconventional narratives, innovative editing techniques, and a distinct visual style that defies the norm of mainstream media. By embracing authenticity and vulnerability, 
he encourages others to step outside their comfort zones and tell their own unique stories. Remember those, uh, remember those glasses I used to wear that had like the white? I lost them. And making a new pair is a tremendous pain in the ass. That place didn't have them. Golden black. Yes, we did. 190 dollars. He breaks away from the traditional media landscape by utilizing the accessible platform of YouTube to share his personal stories, adventures, and thoughts. Challenging the notion that only highly polished and professionally produced content is valuable. Gear doesn't matter. Let me explain. If all it took to be good was to have the right equipment, the people who had the most money would always win. Now, Tyler Durden challenges the norm by urging men to reject the consumer-driven lifestyle and societal expectations placed upon them. In Fight Club, Tyler establishes an underground movement known as Project Mayhem, which aims to dismantle the conformity and materialism prevalent in society. He encourages men to detach themselves from the pursuit of material possessions, embrace their primal instincts, and question the values imposed by consumer culture. Casey Neistat inspired a generation of filmmakers to pick up a camera and share their own stories. Tyler Durden, in the fictional world of Fight Club, inspired men to question their lives and reject the materialistic status quo. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. Casey Neistat inspires people through his YouTube channel. He shares his personal experiences, creative endeavors, and life lessons, providing a glimpse into his journey as a filmmaker and entrepreneur. Casey's authenticity, transparency, and willingness to share both successes and failures resonates with viewers. He encourages aspiring filmmakers and creators to pursue their passions, take risks, and embrace their unique perspectives. Casey's relentless work ethic and dedication to his craft serve as an inspiration, showing that with determination and creativity, individuals can carve their own paths and make a meaningful impact. I don't think that we bought enough food. Tyler Durden, in the context of Fight Club, inspires through his rejection of societal norms and consumer culture. He challenges individuals to question their lives, values, and priorities, urging them to break free from the numbing routine of modern existence. By embracing a more primal and authentic version of themselves, Tyler encourages people to reclaim their individuality and reject conformity. 
His charismatic and persuasive nature resonates with those who feel disillusioned or trapped, inspiring them to seek personal freedom and self-discovery. Casey Neistat and Tyler Durden both represent a desired identity that people may aspire to embody, characterized by fearlessness, courage, and a willingness to take risks. And while they may be influential and admired by many, it's crucial to recognize the complexity of their characters and the potential pitfalls of idolizing them. Casey Neistat is often seen as an aspirational figure for filmmaking due to his creativity, entrepreneurial spirit, and the success in the digital media landscape. Many aspiring filmmakers admire his ability to carve his own path, create engaging content, and build a successful career. Casey's emphasis on authenticity, hard work, and self-expression resonates with those seeking to make their mark. However, it's essential to remember that everyone's journey is unique and trying to replicate Casey's exact path may not necessarily lead to the same outcomes. Tyler Durden may be seen as an aspirational figure within the context of Fight Club, but it's important to separate the character's ideals from the potentially harmful actions portrayed in the story. Tyler's methods and ideologies can be considered extreme and destructive. It's crucial to recognize that the character of Tyler Durden represents a critique on societal norms rather than a role model to emulate in real life. Aspiring to be like Tyler Durden may lead to adopting toxic or harmful behaviors. Now, in this context, if Casey Neistat represents Tyler Durden and filmmakers represent the narrator, then who is Marla Singer? Marla Singer in Fight Club represents chaos, unpredictability, and a disruptive force within the narrator's life. She challenges his perspective and disrupts the carefully constructed systems he has created. In the context for comparison, the parallel could be drawn to the various obstacles and challenges Casey Neistat and filmmakers face in their pursuit of success. There's no reason for this camera to be critically failing me like this, but it is. These obstacles could include factors such as self-doubt, financial constraints, competition, creative blocks, or external pressures. Let's talk about when it's okay to give up and when to quit. Sometimes you go out and you shoot all this stuff, you have this great idea, you come back to edit it, and for whatever reason, somewhere between beginning the process and finishing it, you just throw in the towel. It gets the best of us. It's never okay. There's never like a valid excuse not to finish something. That said, there are a number of projects that I've started and not finished. Now, in conclusion, we could discuss that Casey Neistat is Tyler Durden for filmmakers. And if that's the case, then there needs to be a point where we as filmmakers break away from Casey. I'm not saying to stop watching Casey's videos, but rather take his lessons and apply them to your own life. We can't, however, simulate his success or path. We must create our own path and not get caught trying to be just like him. Casey has said before, even if you make the most perfect Casey Neistat video, then you have failed before you even begun. Probably the most important thing to succeeding, whether it's in the vlog game, the YouTube game, or in the creative space at all, is this. You have to have your own thing. So if you follow this video perfectly and you make the most perfect Casey vlogs, you will have failed before you've begun. They don't want to see your Casey vlogs. They want to see your, your vlogs. They want to see what you can bring to the table. My favorite thing in the world is seeing how YouTubers are able to iterate and build on other YouTubers' styles and sentiments and ideas until they make something that's uniquely theirs. Those are the YouTubers that really succeed. So the most important rule is be original. Casey has even went further and said, if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. I think Casey knows it is toxic to follow someone so close that you're trying to emulate them without your own style and flair. 
Now, this is where I think Casey and Tyler may differ. I think Casey and Tyler both understand the effects they have on the world. Casey Neistat in the real world, and Tyler Durden in Fight Club. Tyler Durden's manipulation tactics in Fight Club, such as the first rule of Fight Club and making men wait before granting them entry, reveal his strategic mindset and understanding of human psychology. By creating exclusivity, secrecy, and tests of loyalty, he effectively builds a committed and dedicated group. Tyler's awareness of these tactics reflects his understanding of power and control. I think Casey doesn't want other filmmakers to fall into this trap of being just like him. He wants filmmakers to be free to express their own creativity. Casey's intentions seem to be that to empower the filmmaker, but not to follow so close that they emulate him. In life, you can get whatever you want, but you can't want whatever you want. That doesn't make any sense. Let me explain. If you really, if you truly, are one of those people who commits a life to pursuing, to realizing a dream, you have to be a little crazy. John Balthazari says you have to be possessed. If you want it so bad, you will get it. But not all of us, not everyone wants it that bad. So when your kindergarten teacher said to you, Billy, Susie, you can get whatever you want in this world, she wasn't wrong. But those words mean very different things to different people. If you commit your entire life to a dream, you will find it. Because if you commit your everything, your entire being, there's only one of two possible outcomes. Number one, you'll find it. You will succeed. Number two, you'll die trying. You came along, try to get cut. You can talk to talk.